Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Andrew from Dude Where's My Par. So uh, one of the things we've been getting into lately and wanting to get into is uh, product reviews for all of you. Uh, so if you guys may or may not have seen last week, we put a post out on what products you want to see reviewed. Uh, you all submitted a, a bunch of different products that we are certainly going to try to get to. Uh, one of the ones that caught my eye was the Birdie Ball putting mat. Uh, it's basically an indoor mat that you can customize. Uh, which is which is really cool because the one I have right now it's sitting right over there it's it's only about three four feet long um, it's only about a foot wide so um, you can't really do a whole lot with it so I saw the birdie ball putty mat I saw how you can go on their website and customize it I'm actually about to order it right now so uh, I'm gonna get it in test it out um, like I said this is gonna be one of the things we want to really do on this page is get products test them um, give you all honest reviews on them so um, I'm gonna get it in the mail test it out and follow up with you guys and let you know how I like it. So stay tuned. All right, so here's the Birdie Ball homepage. And as you can see, they offer uh, different accessories and whatnot. But for today, we're gonna be basically just reviewing the putting mat. So we're gonna go ahead into their builder and design our mat. Now, when you get in the builder, you'll see that you can uh, customize it with many different options. Um, as far as thickness, we're gonna go with the standard half inch thick mat. Um, width, we think four feet is gonna be a, a perfect width for us to use to utilize like i said the one that we're using right now is very narrow so it'll be nice to have a nice wide mat um, as far as length you want to make sure you have enough room to put this in the area that you want it um, I, I, something that's going to give me some practice in the, in the like mid-range 15 16 feet is going to be good so i'm going to go into the length area and select 16 feet and as you design it, you'll actually see on the right what your mat will start to look like here so um, and then down below you'll see the stint meter reading and you know you can customize this to different green speeds i play on courses that are typically private or they're a resort course so i'm going to get a mat that resembles that um, you can customize this to any which way you like as well so um, from the stint meter reading you can then go down and customize how many cups you want um, i'm going to go with four cups which is pretty standard you got three cups on one side one cup on the other uh, from there, you can go down and customize your bumpers if you want any, and I'm going to uh, recommend this. Um, from what I've read, it's, it, you're going to want to get some, some bumpers behind the putts, uh, behind the holes, because you're, you're going to miss putts, so that'll be nice to have there too. Um, you can customize that as well. And then further down, you'll see that they offer a stance mat, which is a, a cool option if you're getting the narrower narrower mat I, I am going to go with a mat that's going to be wide enough for me to stand on so i won't need a stance mat um so that's it there so uh then down below you'll see you can even add a, a logo onto the mat which is kind of cool if you're putting this in an office or whatnot so uh, i'm gonna uh, not get a logo mat right now i'm just going to order the standard mat and go from there okay so i ordered the birdie ball mat uh just five days ago actually and it already came in the mail so pretty surprised how fast i got it uh, so I'm going to take it out, I'm going to roll it out, and uh, let you guys know what I think, so stay tuned. Alright, so here's the mat I got. I just took it out of the box about 20 minutes ago or so. I rolled it out. Um, out of the box, it actually comes out, even though it's rolled up in the box, it's actually pretty flat uh, when you first roll it out. Um, they do put it in there rolled up, so when you lay it out, it, the, the rolls actually fold down, so it kind of does flatten pretty quick. Uh, but as you can see, here's the material. Um, I was kind of surprised that it, the, the material is not what I was expecting. It's actually, um, the best way to describe it is basically, it's basically a giant pool noodle. Um, and it, it feels very much like a, uh, like a putting green actually when you walk on it. Um, there is grain to it, so you can actually putt both ways. Uh, one way will be a little bit down grain, one will be against the grain. Um, so here's everything it comes with. Uh, when it came in the package, um, the holes were plugged, I'm guessing because they, they cut them um, and then just basically pass sealed up. So when, when they came in, uh, these were all plugged. You just pop them right out uh, and then you can put your cups in there. So um, here's what was in the package. Uh, first of all, I got the bumpers to go behind it. So I'll show you how those get put on. Um, here's the putting cups. Um, looks like you got Got a flag here. Uh, you can stick that in there. Um, there's also like, a, you know, you can have that sitting there like that. 
Um, there's also the high back cups, so if when you want to have putts uh, pretty much, let's see, I know I saw those in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a high back cup. So when you put that in, it'll kind of, you can, you can hit your putts in there with a little bit of pace. And um, then it also came with a, this is kind of cool, also came with a smaller hole plug. So if you want to work on, you know, pitting putts into a smaller hole, um, it'll sh shrink the hole down for you quite a bit so that when you pull it out, it's basically the size of a bathtub. So let's, uh, I'm gonna get this all set up and then roll some and see how, see how it rolls. Real quick, I just wanted to show you the backstop that it comes with the bumper here. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how it, how it slides on pretty easily. Um, it's got this big uh, gap here where you can just pull it apart and then slide the back right into it here. So um, just slide this on. And then once you get it, once you get, I already did the other side. Once you get it going, it goes on pretty, pretty easy. And just slide it all the way across. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. It's on there pretty good. Okay, so I'll show you here. Um, when it's on, you got a little bit of a backstop, um, you know, for your missed putts because, uh, you know, you're gonna miss some. Uh, so this is what it looks like when it's on. It's got a little bit of a backstop. So putts that go by the hole that might have some pace on it, instead of going across the room, uh, they'll stay right here. So um, I definitely recommend getting that if you're gonna order one of these, because uh, like I said, you're gonna miss putts. One thing I wanted to uh, make you aware of too is uh, one thing I noticed uh, pretty much right away while setting it up, while kneeling down and standing on it and whatnot. Uh, the material that it's made out of, it's gonna leave little imprints when you walk on it, uh, but because it's made out of this really cool material, it bounces back pretty quick. So now I've been standing here for about 20 seconds, so there's a little bit of a foot imprint, but as you can see, it almost goes away within seconds. So it uh, bounces back and recovers very quickly, so you don't need to worry about uh, putts bouncing and whatnot if you happen to stand on the line. So uh, let's let's uh, set the camera up, roll some putts, and, and see how it goes. All right, so one of the things I noticed right away off this mat is um, it, it's nice and big, which lets me stand on the mat while I'm putting. Uh, my old mat, like I said, was only about a foot and a half wide, so I was standing off the mat whenever I putted. Um, and then as you can see from this, I'm, I'm centered on the mat, my ball's centered on the mat, and my feet still have about maybe five inches or so to the edge. So I'm comfortably on this thing. Um, I would recommend if you're gonna get one, uh, get one that's at least three, four feet wide. That way you uh, get the feeling of being at the same level as the ball. Um, and let's see, how, let's see how this thing rolls. Now, one thing I wanna say is my floor apparently is not very level because even with my old mat, this putt would break just a little bit um, from right to left, so I, I don't know what's up with the foundation of my place, but it does break a little bit. It's about a right edge putt, um, but that's perfectly fine as long as it's consistent. Um, working on putts that break is not the end of the world. So let's go ahead and roll a couple here. It does uh, feel like it, 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 it looks like it's rolling on a green. It's not, there's no bumps on it at all. It rolls very true. Um, it's gonna stay right on the line that I started it on. Not enough pace on that one, but um, overall, I, I think it, it, it feels very much like a putting green. Um, and like I said, these come out, so you can take them out like you're on a putting green. Um, this putt I'm hitting right now is about 12 feet. Um, I'm standing about four feet away from the camera or so. Uh, so this is about a 12 footer. I could go back even further. Um, but this is a good range right here. A range I typically can't work on with my mat because the mat I had was only about four feet long or so. So um, you, you can work on just those little uh, shorties, but when you want to work on range, you know, your mid range putts, you, you can now. So um, let's roll a couple more here. Very true. Let's 
So that's that. Um, like I said, I got the little uh, cup in here so you can take them out just like you would on a regular practice screen. Um, I do have the high back cup in here too. I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of a lip on the back. That'll just kind of collect some of the putts that go in with a little bit more pace. Um, when you have nothing in here at all, um, putts will just kind of bounce out. So it's nice to have this collect here. Um, and then this just snaps back in place and then you can continue putting here. So overall, I think it's a very, very good product. Uh, I would definitely recommend this. I I'm glad this was recommended to us to try. Um, I'm certainly gonna keep this and utilize it, like I said, working on my short game, my mid-range putts and my short putts too. And I also, uh, this is definitely something I'm gonna have my kids utilize too. Um, you know, they're, they're young, so they're gonna be getting into the game of golf and starting them on something like this will be fun for them but it'll also develop their game early on, so which is, which is ideal. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other products you want us to, to review uh, or recommend, uh, let us know in the comments below and we'll certainly take a look at those and, uh, and let you review, um, we'll review them for you. Hey everyone, one thing I wanted to add um, that I didn't mention before is the birdie ball mat. It is uh, storable, so if you don't have a permanent area for it, you can store it, you can roll it up and put it away, put it in a closet or whatnot. Um, that'll certainly be the case with me because the area I have it in is definitely not gonna be a permanent um, area. I don't have a basement and my living room area is not big enough to have its own area for the putting mat. So you can roll it up. Um, they do recommend that you roll it up with the good side on the uh, facing out. So that way when you roll it out, it, it curls down and then it actually rolls flat very quickly. So um, like I said, when I took it out of the box, it was flat within, within minutes. So um, I wanted to make that clear. I wanna thank everyone for watching. If you have any other products you want us to review, let us know in the comments below. Uh, I I, this is a great review. I love having this product. Uh, let us know more products for us to review. I'm sure my wife will love having uh, many, many golf products delivered to our front door and me to review. So uh, again, drop a comment in the uh, below and let us know what products you want us to review. Thanks for watching.